All right, welcome back, everybody. So this week, we're going to take a look at the Sherwin-Williams Emerald Urethane versus the Benjamin Moore Advanced. Let's get to it. All right, so these two products are definitely a hot button in refinishing and in um, the professional world. Um, there are a lot of people that swear by these products, but we're going to just take a realistic look at them and we're going to see. Now, I did prep these panels differently because the last Benjamin Moore video I did, I did it on a black and I got quite a bit of criticism that a lot of people thought that the white would perform better. So we did both of these in white. And so we're going to take a look at them and see. Now I have done some preliminary testing on this Benjamin Moore Advanced and I will have to say that um, not using the cover stain primer underneath it definitely made a large difference in the way this panel is going to perform. So I do want to note that. Now I used these, both of these as a self seal, meaning I didn't put a primer underneath them. I just shot three coats um, for each one. And I also want to mention that these panels are like four months old, uh, roughly. So there's no question about if they're 30 days old or all that, they're way past due. I've been sitting on these panels for a long time and my buddy Michael Crane every week keeps saying, when are you gonna do the video? When are you gonna do the video? So Michael Crane, this one's for you, buddy. And if you don't know Michael Crane, you need to go over onto his YouTube page and check him out. So without further ado, let's get into the testing. And then at the end, I'm gonna kinda compare and contrast um, these two products and I'm gonna kinda tell you what I like and dislike about each one of them. So let's do it. All right, so what we have first is the Benjamin Moore Advance. And let's look at the alcohol resistance with our denatured alcohol. All right, we are getting a little pull on there and it marred the surface pretty good on that. Let's take a look at the lacquer thinner. All right, there's our lacquer thinner. So it cut through that top coat um, really easily. And let's take a look at the acetone. Same thing there. And then you can see that it marred the surface really um, heavily as well. So pretty much the same as what we saw on the last time with it. Okay, so here's where things get interesting with the Benjamin Moore Advance. Now if you go back and I'll leave a link in the description below to my original video, um, you're going to see that when the cover stain was underneath this, it caused this coating to be really chippy. And I honestly don't think that it was actually um, the Advance. It was actually um, the cover stain underneath it. So here's what I'm talking about. All right, so when I pull this off, we're basically just getting pull from where it was left off. Now this coating is not, it's not chipping. So it seems to be uh, fairly flexible, but with that cover stain underneath it, it does, um, I do kind of question that if that really is taking away from the flexibility of this coating. So let's take a look at the um, mar resistance. All right, so not too bad actually. So as you can see, we're actually, um, it's just denning the wood. Um, now, interestingly enough, on the last video, it was pulling it straight off of the surface. Um, and we were over the 30 day mark on that particular coating. So it makes me believe that there's something um, indicative about that uh, primer underneath it that caused the difference. All right, so let's switch over to the Sherwin-Williams urethane and let's take a look at it. All right, let's look at the denatured alcohol in the Sherwin-Williams. All right, so that's your Sherwin-Williams urethane there. Um, not too bad, actually. 
All right, let's take a look at the lacquer thinner. All right, lacquer thinner, same thing. And then we'll take a look at our acetone. Excuse me. All right, um, that one actually did pretty good on the acetone. Um, probably a little bit better than the uh, Benjamin Moore um, on that. So not too bad on the acetone. Um, so again, we have the denatured alcohol, the lacquer thinner, and the acetone. And we'll put them side by side and look at them here in a second. So let's take a look at the Mar resistance on the Sherwin-Williams uh, urethane. All right, very good. We're just basically pretty much denning the wood on that. So very good mar resistance, as you can see. And then let's take a look at the crosshatch adhesion. All right, so let's look at the crosshatch adhesion. And there we go on that, which actually is a, is um, better than what we saw with the Benjamin Moore Advance. So. Um, let's kind of compare and contrast these real quick. Uh, I want to show you the Benjamin Moore Advance versus the other one. So there's your denatured alcohol, there's your lacquer thinner, and then there's your acetone. We look at the Sherwin Williams urethane, there's the denatured alcohol, there's the lacquer thinner, and there's the acetone. Um, so let me give you my final thoughts. All right, so what's my final thoughts? Well, first, I want to talk about the advance, and then I'm going to compare and contrast them, and then I'm going to kind of issue a challenge in my closing thoughts on these products. So first, what I'd like to say is that I definitely think there's a major difference um, by using this product as a standalone instead of using the cover stain underneath it like I did. Now, I haven't tried it with Ben Shellac, and will I? Probably not. Um, but, you know, you could try it as a test and see. Um, I definitely think that a lot of things get improved without using the cover stain underneath this product. Now, as far as comparing them um, side by side, uh, the Benjamin Moore Advanced to me has a little bit better look and hand to it, so it feels softer. It looks more like an industrial wood coating. Um, the Sherwin Williams Emerald Urethane, um, I think it has a little bit advantage on the chemical resistance, a little bit better, and it has a little bit better um, flexibility to it. Um, another advantage on the Sherwin Williams Emerald Urethane is that it tends to dry a little bit faster than the Advance. So you kind of pick your plus and minuses with these, so they're kind of a toss up. All right, so in closing, what I would like to do is issue a challenge to those of you that are using these products in a professional setting. And what I'll say is, is that the technology um, in water base has changed dramatically since I did that original video and What I'm seeing coming out of the European companies like Renner Malaysi and then an American company CIC just honestly far surpasses these coatings and what I'm telling you is is that if you are using these coatings people that are using the Malaysi's the Renner's the CIC's are moving past you at a rapid pace so what I want to show you is this is the um, 855 from Renner now I've put this on my Instagram page and I have people from the solvent world that are asking me how in the world I'm getting this type of finish okay there's nothing special that I'm doing I'm just using different materials this is the example of the Malaysi 1k it's the same thing. This stuff lays out like glass. Um, it is an incredible finish. It's better than what you're going to get out of um, a lot of major manufacturers. So that's my challenge to some of the, you guys. Step outside your comfort zone and try one of these industrial coatings. And the reason I'm saying this is because, like I said, a lot of things have changed for me and a lot of things have changed in this environment. And I'm getting calls from around the world 
that guys that are using these industrial coatings, their lives are changing in their businesses. Um, they're getting higher pay. They're getting better jobs. Um, you know, so I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. You can catch me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, and LinkedIn, at Eric Reason. And remember, test don't guess. We'll catch you next week. Mm -hmm.